Hi, I'm Dr. Noor Abdullah. I am a research fellow at the Cleveland Clinic. Um, so the ACP1 gene, the acid phosphatase 1 gene, encodes the low molecular weight protein tyrosine phosphatase, the LMPTP, which is overexpressed in prostate cancer and is a potential therapeutic target. So we assessed its uh, expression in primary and metastatic prostate cancer samples, and we studied uh, its association with uh, distinct molecular profiles and clinical outcomes. Uh, we perform next generation sequencing of DNA and RNA for 5,028 specimens derived from the prostate and metastatic sites. And we defined uh, ACP1 high and low expression um, as quartiles 4 and 1 of RNA TPM. And we reported the DNA mutational profiles for samples stratified by ACP1 quartiles expression. We use the gene set enrichment analysis for uh, the pathways hallmark collection, and we estimated the immune cell fractions of the tumor microenvironment uh, using the RNA deconvolution. We also assessed the overall survival of patients uh, with ACP1 high and low tumors from the time of initial diagnosis or treatment initiation to the date of the last follow up or death. Out of the 5,028 specimens that we collected, um, around 61% were derived from the prostate, 13% uh, th from lymph node metastases, and 26% from distant metastases. We found that ACP1 expression was higher in lymph node and distant metastases compared to the primary prostate samples. We also found that TP53 mutations were enriched in ACP1 high tumors derived from the prostate. Um, concerning the pathways, those associated with cell cycle regulation and oxidative phosphorylation were enriched in ACP1 uh, high tumors. However, the epithelial mesenchymal transition and the TNF alpha signaling were enriched in ACP1 low tumors. We also found that the neuroendocrine and androgen receptor signaling were both increased in ACP1 high tumors. Uh, concerning the immune cell fractions of the tumor microenvironment, in ACP1 high tumors, we found that M2 macrophages and NK cells were increased. However, M1 macrophages and T cells were decreased. And finally, although we did not find a statistically significant difference in overall survival between patients with high and low ACP1 tumors, we did notice a trend towards an overall worse survival of patients with high ACP1 tumors derived from the prostate or distant metastasis, but not lymph node metastasis. So in summary, ACP1 high tumors uh, were seen to have a distinct molecular profile and a cold tumor microenvironment. Um, so this highlights the potential role of ACP1 in prostate cancer pathogenesis, and it can be clinically implicated as a potential novel therapeutic target.